today for our quarantine edition let me take this ridiculous mask off this is designed for anyone at varying levels to you shout outs to at trainer Luzi Lu if you go on Instagram you can find her um, it's where I basically sparked a lot of the brainstorming for these movements to come out with this six movements without further ado and uh, all you really need is okay. a chair pillow and yourself that's really it so the first movement it's a uh, chair dip right so if you can hold yourself like this for 10 seconds that would be the beginner level right you want to kind of let yourself go and if you can slightly bend your elbows that's what we're talking about for 10 seconds right beginner level intermediate would be something like just really put your weight into the drop of your butt come down come down as deep as you can and you're gonna go 10 repetitions right all the way down all the way up. that would be intermediate advanced we utilize the elevation right and then you would do right when you do this movement try to make sure your elbows are as close together as possible okay so there you go that's the first move you have beginner intermediate and advanced let's aim for three rounds and 10 seconds or 10 reps for each round so now you're covering your triceps which is the back part of your arm you are also taking care of your shoulders a bit that's secondary if you keep your your body straight it's really your tricep that's being affected this is really a tricep movement for stabilization your core is indirectly being affected but it's predominantly a tricep routine all right so that's number one um, number two is going to be this movement where you're on the floor right and you bring your knees down right and then up down up down up down up down up okay so if you do that movement you'll find that it's a quad movement for the front part of your legs and your core is being utilized to be able to stabilize your body throughout this movement so it's a core and leg movement right that's what it primarily focuses on now to take it a step further you would do the same thing but you would kick out with your legs right that would be a modification in progression which would be like this okay That's one. Boom. Boom. That's two. Boom. Boom. That's three. We're going for ten total. If you're if you're doing the beginner level where you're just kind of going up, down, one, two, three, four. We're going for ten either way. Okay. So that's the second movement. Again, quads, core. You're kind of working your shoulders a little bit by just holding yourself up in that kind of modified front leaning rest position. Number three, we're gonna take that pillow that we were talking about, right? Put it on the floor and you're gonna straddle this pillow, right? Now, 
I'm a little pressed for space right here, but that's what's usually gonna happen at home, right? Anyway, so you don't need much space for these movements. We're gonna go back, stretch all the way back, come up, smack that pillow. Keep, try and keep your feet on the floor as best as possible and smack, stretch, smack. When you come down, try to come down as slow as you can. Tap the pillow, okay? That is your third movement. We're gonna go for 15 pillow smacks, right? Every time you come back, stretch, and then smack, right? You wanna make sure you stretch, and when you come back down, come back down slowly. Fourth movement. Shout outs to Kerala Culture again. Leisure, I see you. You're gonna be in plank position, all right? We all know what a plank is. So when you do a plank, it's a relatively difficult movement by itself. And that'll be the initial or the beginner level for it. I was a little under the weather recently. I'm still kind of getting over it. So excuse me for that, but we're gonna be in plank position, right? And what we're gonna do in plank position, right? We're gonna assume if, if you're a beginner, then you're gonna try and be in plank position. You're gonna try and go for like 10 seconds, 15, 30 seconds, whatever you can do. If that's relatively easy for you, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna stay in plank position and you're gonna reach out and come back, reach out and come back, okay? So it's like this. Right? You're in a plank position, reach out, then come back, reach out, come back, boom, boom, that's one, boom, boom, that's two, boom, boom, that's three, okay? We're going to do that for ten, okay? So reach, reach, one, reach, Reach, two, we're gonna do that for 10, okay? Three times. That's move number four. Let's recap. So the first one was the chair dip, right? Whether it's 10 seconds or it's 10 reps, we're gonna do it for three rounds. Second, we're doing the movement on the ground, right? Where we're kind of either bouncing down or we're stepping back, right? Do 10 pulses or 10 pairs, right? Three rounds. Third movement is the pillow smack, right? We're gonna stretch back, smack the pillow 15 times. We're gonna gun for three rounds. Fourth movement is this plank, right? If it's a regular plank, we're gonna hold it for up to 30 seconds if you can. We're gonna do three rounds of that. But if you can reach out, for pairs, we're gonna do 10 pairs, and we're gonna do it for three rounds as well. Move number five. One hand on your hip, one hand by your ear. And you are going to, in a position that's kind of like where your body is straight, not really twisting too much to any side. You're gonna try and keep your body straight, and then utilizing your core and your obliques, you're gonna feel for that area, and you're going to kind of elbow to lap it, like that, boom. Feel that area and squeeze, okay? Boom, we're gonna go four, five. We're gonna go for 15 on each side, and then we're gonna switch, right? Same thing, body straight, feel your core, squeeze the, the side, the oblique, and elbow to lap it, right? Not so much just bring it, bringing your elbow to your lap or too close to your knee, but really work this area to make that movement happen. 
even if you can't touch, it's fine. Really make the mind to body connection in that area, right? Even if it's like that, that's fine. Really feel that area and squeeze it. So we're gonna go for 15 on each side and we're gonna go for three rounds as well. That's move number five. Last move. And the sixth and final. We know what a wall sit is, right? So that's how we're gonna end this. Get low into it. Nice parallel. Sit down, back, planted, straight against the wall and get as low as you can. And you're gonna sit in this position, again, like the planks for up to 30 seconds. And that's what we're aiming for, all right? We're not gonna just do it one time, we're gonna do it three times. If you can do it 30 seconds, go for up to 30 seconds. Hold it as long as you can, and that's it. And I hope this was useful. Come to Soul Infusion, whether the actual location or follow and be part of the Soul Infusion community, whether on, on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, you name it. Shout out to our trainer, Luzi Lu, as well, for sparking these ideas. This is great to get us through this time period. But we, we do this all the time. We have um, daily challenges and workouts all the time. But what's really gonna make changes is how you eat and what you consume daily. That's what's gonna make the most happen for you. Thank you for tuning in.